Welcome back to the Talos Principle. This puzzle room, I believe number two, I think this is, is almost entirely complete except for the red puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that. Higher ground. Okay, so I'm guessing this might involve the fan. Perhaps lifting something up on a fan. So I was able to lift a connector up on to, onto a box on a fan. I could probably do the same with a jammer. Hmm. If I had, if I had a box to jump on, I should be able to get up there. This is a pretty crazy maze here. <laughs> There's a lot to this. So we have the explodey things, we have two jammers, we have a high point. There's some keys. I can walk through here, but I can't take anything in there with me. So I need to do my stuff from up above. No idea if that's actually accomplishing anything, but let's go check. Okay, where am I actually trying to get to? There. There's some keys over here. I'm not sure what they unlock. They unlock this, okay. Well, let's just grab the keys, I suppose. So we have three jammers, one of which is inside and the others are not. Hmm. I might actually be able to make that jump, but I don't think I want to get this outside. I think it's more useful being inside. Because inside, I think I can reach... Yeah, I should be able to reach anything that those can reach, plus more. Epitaph, child program version, blah blah blah, code name Faith. Terminated here. Logic worshipped the designer for something something days, then allowed the serpent into its heart. Final memory dump. I ask the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in the eternal memory. Samsara and sheep were the progenies. It says a logic. Worship the designer for blah 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 days and allow the serpent into its heart. Does that mean it, it killed itself? I guess someone met their end here. It seems we're all connected somehow. Like distant family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? And that's from Sheep. That's one of the progenies, right? Yeah, Sheep was one of the progenies of Faith. Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer. The Greek. <laughs> what if I can add my thoughts to that wall? Hold on. Thank you. 
Well, there's nothing here that's unique. I don't know if I need... Like, I'm not sure if this really matters. I don't know if this is just for my own... Like, just for me to leave a message of whatever I want and it doesn't really affect anything. Given that others are obviously reading these. You know, whatever I put down can be read by others. Given that, I'm pretty sure it might have an effect. Like, there's definitely a possibility it has an actual effect. But just saying these generic things is completely pointless. So unless I find something that's actually unique to say in the message, then I'm not going to bother. Alright, hold on. Uh, let me take this with me. So I believe that's where I'm supposed to go back there, but I want to know what's through here. Hmm. Interesting. Why is there a window? Okay, so that one is stopped short. Wait, did the other one stop short too? The other one stopped short, okay. So, with both of these being there, I can't possibly run down here. Because they'd kill me. So, I think the point of that... The point of that window is to allow me to slow one down so that they go out of sync, so then I can run through them. But I need to do this first. And then... What else? Alright, let's get these really out of sync. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, now that's done. I never need to do that again, so I can use these up here for whatever I want. Um, let's see, so... I guess I should probably just use them to open up these two again. Just like I had it before. Is that gonna work, though? So I use my jammer to open up that final piece. That allows me to run around, but then that... But then that is still closed. Right? You know, I should make these out of sync too. Yeah, so these need to be out of sync, but I, I'm still missing something. Yeah, because I need to use this to do this. Which then allows me through, and that's all well and good, but... Then I'm left here, and I can't get through that. Hmm. How could I get around that? If I could get this jammer on the other side of this thing, I could take it with me. To do that, I would need to actually use a jammer on this, uh, use another jammer on this force field so that I could take this one inside. But there's nowhere that can actually reach this place.
and there's some way I could take these inside with me. I can't connect it to the connector. Damn you! <laughs> so close. So tantalizingly close. I don't think this little glitch is enough to get me up here. The uh, plop it down and jump backwards thing. Nah. Nope, that's not gonna work. That is a tantalizingly low wall. I could almost jump over it. Hm. I'm honestly not sure what to do here. I'm gonna think about this for a bit and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have the solution. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's correct. So the basic problem here is that there's four force fields that need to be opened, that need to be jammed. But, I only have three jammers. So we've got these two force fields, that one there, and then the end one. So I need some way to get past... I need some way to get past one of the force fields without tying up a jammer on it. And I think I just figured that out. So these two out here I don't have much control over. I can't take them, I can't take them with me. They're stuck outside. But this one I do have control over. So, I think what I need to do is this. Okay, so if I jam that from the outside and from the inside... That will allow me to basically trap myself inside. So now this one is free. And this one can still focus on the end one. Yes. And then when I take this, it closes behind me, but that's perfectly fine. And there we go. I think that's it. I, uh... I tried some tricks, by the way. I was trying to jump on the walls and stuff, which is why I have to uh, unlock this again, because I went to another puzzle room and kind of did some resets, so... It reset the progress in this place. I was trying to get fancy. There we go. Okay, well, that's all the puzzles done for this area. Got the star did the moon thing. Let's move on. Okay, two puzzle room three. Ah, it's got two red ones. And when I complete this puzzle, this will allow me to unlock the replay thing. I have no idea how that's going to work. Progress Report 9. From Bob Rakowski. Blah, blah, blah. Applied Nomadics Ian mailing list. The basic skeleton of the simulation is now running on EL. It's not plugged into the AI system yet, but in theory, everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense, or do we wait for the iteration module to... Hmm. Oh, 
Osiris 3. The first wisdom, the scribe said to the dying man, is that as the world is made of five elements, so is the soul of man. Know therefore that in this life you are heart and shadow and name, and also ka and ba. Without all these, you would not be a living being, but a thing. What is a man without a name who cannot speak of himself? What is a man without a shadow who is not anchored in the world? What is a man without a heart who can neither feel nor think? What is a man without a ka who has no essence? What is a man without a ba if not a sheep, I mean, uh, who is not himself but like unformed clay? Therefore praise Osiris, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, the eldest son of the womb of Nut. Nut? Might be Newt. It's probably Newt. <laughs> the womb of Nut. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. He who traverses millions of years in his existence. Alright, a little, uh... He was made of five elements. Or, as the world is made of five elements. Here, the translator is clearly inserting his own beliefs onto the text as... I believe I found other parts of that Osiris text, right? Let me, let me check, that's Osiris 3. Did I not? I could have sworn I did. I mean, there's Athene 6, Athene 8, Athene 9. Athene 12. Oh yeah, there it is. Osiris 1. Oh, but I'm missing Osiris 2. Gotta catch them all. Just war excerpt. Democrates Altar? Or on the just cause for war against the Indians? By ooh, let me see if I can pronounce this. Let's see. Okay. One. That's easy. One. Ganes. Dis. Oh God. I want to say Sepulveda, but that that can't be right. Anyway. Written in 1547 to justify the Spanish conquest of the Americas. The Spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of the New World who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults, or, wo or women are to men, for there exists between the two as great a difference as, I might even say, between apes and men. Compare, then, these gifts with those possessed by these half-men, in whom you will barely find the vestiges of humanity, who not only do not possess any, any learning at all, but are not even literate, and eat human flesh. Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our domination, but to a servitude a little less harsh. It will not be difficult for them to change their masters. Okay. Well, whoever wrote that has a very sick mind. This place is very windy. Ah, oh, look at that pyramid. This is one of the most open Egyptian uh, Egyptian themed areas. It's massive. And I see a wall of text. Oh my god, it's so bright. Theory. This place is some kind of preserve for human history, and we are the endangered species. Theory. Trying to find answers will only bring pain. Ceasing to care is the only escape. Theory. This guy is ten times more help than you, Samsara, so shut your face. Theory. We're in some kind of incubator, waiting to be hatched. Theory. If you knew how little you know, you wouldn't be exposing it here.
Still no context-specific message. I don't know. Again, I'm just not sure if it matters. It's so dark. Whoa. <laughs> There's a pathway here. I didn't even see that. I just noticed that it was dark and I just kept walking. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I think I just found a secret. Is there a star down here? Oh my god, I'm going so far down. Huh? Why is there a plant down here? And why is that torch upside down? What? Huh? What the hell? The sprite is not upside down, though. The sprite is right side up of the fire. What? I'm trying to use it. Uh, I can't. Okay. Interesting. Oh, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Normally I would think this was a game glitch, but obviously it's not. This is a glitch in the simulation. Those rooms all fucked up. Things are upside down. Messed up textures. Stars on the ceiling. Looks like this is a place where the programming has become corrupted. Oh. Oh my god. Tiny palm trees? What the hell is that? <laughs> Look at those palm trees, oh my god! That's, uh, oh, that's the top of a huge, enlarged connector. Oh my god. <laughs> Minecraft blocks? Oh my god, they get smaller and smaller, they're so cute. Colors are just shifting. Oh. Can I squeeze through? Oh, what? Well. Did it just get covered up? The hole got covered up, didn't it? I, I can't really see what's there, I just see blackness. It got patched. I think Elohim detected that I was somewhere where I shouldn't be. And the uh, security hole got patched. That was weird. Anyway, let's keep getting a feel for this place. Another puzzle antechamber. I love the sound of the sand underneath my feet, and the wind it just feels dry and dusty. Body and soul. 
but it is commonly supposed that the Egyptians believed the soul to live as long as the body continued undissolved, and therefore tried this method of eluding death. Could the wise Egyptians, said Nakaya, think so grossly of the soul? If the soul could once survive its separation, what could it afterwards receive or suffer from the body? The Egyptians would doubtless think erroneously, said the astronomer, in the darkness of heathenism and the first dawn of philosophy. The nature of the soul is still disputed amidst all our opportunities of clearer knowledge. Some yet say that it may be material, who, nevertheless, believe it to be immortal. All right, I'll translate this stuff in a second. Soma. From Sun Wai Yang. Hold on, Sun Wai Yang, who are you? You are the Talos unit, formerly Soma. Okay. So what does that mean, Talos unit? Because Talos was the name of the project. So, the Talos unit, what, what does that mean? Alright, subject, names. Names are a funny thing. I remember how much we struggled to come up with a name for our project. All serious scientists name their projects by just translating them to Greek or Latin, right? Corpus made me think of some horrible disease. So we used the Greek word instead. Soma. Quite appropriate. But, but then, since we needed corporate funding, we had to come up with a backronym. Corporations love backronyms, you know? They even sent us a list of buzzword-heavy suggestions to help us get started. Stuff like, self-sufficient, orthostatic modular android. Sustainable, observant, mechanized anthropoid. Skumorphic? <laughs> Omni-adaptable mobile anthropomaton. After a while, we got so frustrated that we started getting silly. Saber-toothed, overexcited, murder android. Sentient, orthopedic, monkey automaton. Strange, Olga's menacing, assassobot. Superb octopod, marinades... Uh, Aplings? Satisfying overcooked mint alligator? Stinky orn ornithological mule alligator? Scroink oof minky ack? <laughs> Stupid obscure meaningless acronym! In the end, we all ended up hating the name Soma just because we had so many fights about it with the sponsors. So when Alexandra told the story about the Talos principle, blah blah blah, caught on. I don't know whether it really fits, but I kind of like it. I think they just gave up at Skroink Oof Minky Ack. Alright, let me translate this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this translates into Eternity is in love with the productions of time. I don't actually know what that means. Eternity is in love with the productions of time. But, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Jumpable. I don't think so. There's kind of a lip in the rock, but it looks like I can't catch it. So even though there's a visual lip in the rock, I don't think there's a collision lip in the rock. And I can't air control enough around the corner to, like, hook around. Nope. Oh, 
I want on that wall so bad. Look at that. I could totally jump up that. It's like ready-made steps. Just waiting for my robot feet. Uh, actually, I don't think I could jump up that right there. It's a little bit too high. I think that's pretty much it for my initial explorations. Some more dark corners to look in for any hidden things. I figured it out. Now what? The only meaningful purpose is to bring about an end of purpose. Uh, yeah, what he said. Whoosh. Well, that's a red puzzle. Let's not do that yet. Let's go do this one. Because this is the one I need to unlock the replay thing. This is still blocked, huh? Yep. Just solid black rectangle. Blown away. What the hell does that red power do? What's <laughs> what's it hooked up to? Usually there's a force field next to it. Okay, well that has to be there if I want through. However, there's no reason I can't also connect it to that. Okay, so I can't get up to that fan, but I can activate the fan with blue power and get the box. Which would then allow me to hold that down and bring the connector inside. Hello. I suppose that's what the red thing's for. Perhaps it, like... Makes the wall come down, and then I can get inside. Obviously, I need to get the red power from somewhere else, though, because there's no red power inside of here. Although, if I could get up on that wall there, I could jump along this and also get inside. So, two possible ways to get inside. Red power, or jump. Anyway. Um... Oh, okay, this is easy, so... To begin with, I just do this, and then just open this myself. Give me the box. Thank you. And we can use that to do this, and then we can use that to do this. Anything else I could do with the box? Would that allow me to get up on anything? I don't believe so. Let's see if we can take a peek over. Eh, nothing to see. Okay, so the red power has to come from another puzzle, I suppose. Or does it? It can't, though. Well... Hmm. See, the the furthest the connector could be, like the closest to the entrance the connector could be, would be right here. Because it can't go outside. Which means the red power would have to be somewhere right there. How the hell? That's gonna be quite difficult. I know you're not supposed to stare at the, the sun, but... I don't know, maybe there's a connector 
on the sun <laughs> or something, just like the moon. I don't know. I've got android eyes. I think I can take it. Alright, let's do the other yellow one. By the way, where's my paint bucket? It's gotta be around one of these pillars or something. It's always nearby. Did I already grab it? I think I already grabbed it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. They like to stick connectors up in, like, trees and on moons and stuff, so it's quite possible there's a connector somewhere out here. It's just really small and hard to see. Sunshot. So maybe there is something on the sun. And no, by the way, if you're wondering if you can hold this down and have, like, have the fan stay on just long enough to jump onto it, you can't. As soon as you step off, it instantly disables it, even if the animation suggests otherwise. So I can launch boxes over. What do I need to do in the end? So in the end, I just need one box. And I have two boxes for that? Okay, so... Yeah, I just need to put both boxes over. And then, at this point, the only way over is if I launch myself using a box. So at this point, I don't want to put both boxes over. I just want one. So I launch one. Do this. And done. Flying through the air gives a lot of possibility for getting on walls and stuff. Get a look at everything from the air. Just looking for anything special. I wonder why it's called Sunshot. Hmm. What if I can like bounce off the box? Even if I could, I don't think that'd really help anything. Nope. Hmm. Well, I think I'll come back here later, but this room definitely has a lot of potential for special stuff. Let's knock out a red one. Is this whoosh? Yes, it is. Okay, got beams going everywhere. Got some red power, so I need to get the red power from here to get the star. At some point. These things are on, so they're powered by the 
blue power? Or hmm. Or maybe maybe they're just always on. They might just be always on. Okay, so that's a mounted connector, so I can't move that one. Hmm. I noticed there's a ladder on the other side there. Which implies that it's not all that hard to get there. Rejected. Ah. I want to see what's in there. Asshole. Ah. <laughs> Of course, I can't crouch. Even though I could blatantly fit there, I can't crouch. It's just not part of my programming. Which normally would annoy me, but... You know, given the universe of the game, it actually makes sense. Help me, I need an adult. No messenger aid until you've discovered their resting place. I wonder what their resting place is, like... I've been through a lot of the game already, and I still haven't unlocked the hint system. It's kind of weird. Not that I actually want to use the hint system, I don't, but... It's very strange. Alright, this puzzle is freaking huge. My god, what the hell are you supposed to do with all this? The jungle gym. Alright, so the end goal is to... So the end goal is simply to disable the power here. Just stop... The blue power, I guess? So then the fan isn't going anymore and I can just walk in and grab that? That's the end goal. So I need to block it with a box? Or something? Man, I don't know. Where the hell do I even start? None of these actually have fan blades. And I can't get close enough to a fan to actually take one off. Or, oh well, no, I can take this one off. Okay, so I can blow this out. Yep, air blows through the gaps in the fence, of course. Makes sense. I can detach this one. I think a lot of these fans are probably useless. Okay. So, lay everything out. This is what I've got to work with. I have two boxes and two fans. Now, what the fuck do I do with that? The hover height there is probably good enough to block the red power. Yes, yeah, so let's throw a box on there. That blocks that, then we can take this. Now we don't need to worry about blocking that anymore. That can go back up, that's fine. Okay, now we have three fans and two boxes. I don't really have... I don't really have a long-term plan here. I'm just testing stuff. Okay, so the hover height is right for the blue, but it's to the side. jump on top of the damn box. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Okay. Well, that doesn't help. That sure as hell isn't going to help. Oh. See, the fans have different... Like, they blow different amounts. And there's no way to visually tell how much they're going to blow. Like, this one is just crazy. There's gotta be a reason this is here, so this is gonna blow something like crazy over here. 
If I had a fan there, what would that do? It would blow it that way? What, what's the point? I mean, I've got enough fans to do this. That would blow it over here, and then this would blow it against here. What's the point of that? Let's see. Pew! Yay! Yay! I accomplished nothing. Ah! Cool. I'm just trying to see if I can glitch it out. Huh? Screw you, fan! Huh? Huh? Let me in! Bastard! This is obviously not how you're supposed to solve it, although it, it kinda... it's almost working. No! Oh! Rejected. Oh? Okay, oh, oh. If I can just get close enough to the f <laughs> This is not what you're supposed to do. It's definitely not what you're supposed to do. Okay, forget it. Okay, so I can bounce these boxes around, but why? That doesn't accomplish a damn thing. What's the point? How in the hell do I block the blue? It, it, huh? I don't get it. Alright, I'm gonna keep working at this and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I think I found three interesting things. I believe I found the real solution, although I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. So I think I found the real solution. I found a glitch solution, and I also found a secret thing that I think is related to the star, most likely. So let me see if this is the right solution first. Okay, so I believe... Here's what's going on. So I need to block the blue to disable the fan so that I can get into the room that has the red sigil, right? Unfortunately, this fan blows up right next to the blue and not under it. So I can't just, like, plop a box on here. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. However, if I make a two stack of the two boxes that I have right under it, go up on this thing, jump over, I can block it with my body. And it takes about two to three seconds to come back, which is much too fast to run. But with these things blowing, I can actually go super fast. So I believe that's the correct solution. Let me just test it real quick. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the real solution. But, because I'm super cool, let me show you the glitch solution. It is actually possible to jump over this fan, by the way. I'm trying to do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's actually a glitch solution. Check this out. Alright, so this thing tries to blow me back, right? But it's not super strong. And you see this up here? This is a lip that can catch you. So, if I place the box in just the right area, I can get it to not blow away. There we go. And if I jump to it, the weird, the weird thing about how the jumping thing works, you see how it says press space to jump here? It does like the pre-calculation sort of thing. If it thinks you can jump there, it will force you to jump there when you press space even if it doesn't actually make any sense. As you can see, it doesn't actually make any sense because my body can't fit under here. It can't make the jump. But it just glitches through and puts you there anyway because it thought you should be there. So if you do that, catch that lip, and then do this. 
There you go. <laughs> yep. It's really fun. You know, it's more satisfying to solve a puzzle accidentally in a way that the designer obviously did not intend. It's funny. Okay, so there's that. Now there's the third thing. There's something special going on with that. Remember how there's a ladder piece right there? Obviously implying that it is quite possible to get on the other side. So check this out. Notice how it's mounted on top of a box. That one over there is not. So that one is truly stationary. This one is mounted on top of a box. And it's kind of hard to see, but if you jump over and look beneath the box... Did you see it? There's a fan underneath the box, which means this this stationary connector is actually connected to a box, which itself can move by a fan. So if I activate that fan, I can lift the red power up. How far? I don't know. But by doing that, I think there's a significant possibility that's related to the star, which needs red power. In fact, it might, lift it, up, it might lift it up so high that I can just access the red power from the puzzle room of the star. So maybe I don't need to access it from the front entrance of the puzzle room, maybe I can just access it from just right there. The only thing is, I don't actually know how to get on the other side. I think... I see like a switch or something. At the base there, so I think I'm going to need a box or something to hold that down. Because... I'm going to want to keep the fan on, obviously. But as for how to actually get to the other side, I don't know. I mean, even a stack of two boxes is not high enough to allow me to jump on. So, yeah. Could I jump onto this? Maybe. I'm going to keep working at this and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found the way to do this. So I need to get over there, on top of that thing. The thing you can't see. <laughs> anyway, I need to get up there and I need to bring one box with me because I need to weigh whatever, whatever switch or whatever's back there. I'm pretty sure I need a box with me to weigh it down so that I can keep the fan on. So I've been trying a lot of stuff with boxes and trying to just try to get up on the wall. Trying to find some way to jump on like a stack of two boxes or to blow myself up. Literally blow myself up into the air, not like explode. That wouldn't be very pleasant. And getting on two boxes, like jumping on top of two boxes can be very, very difficult. But I found one place where I can do it. So this is where I actually got the red sigil. That little room, and it turns out these little blocks here in the corner, normally they don't have collision. Normally you walk on them and then your feet just go through them. These, however, do actually have collision. As you can see, they raise me up just a little bit. And it turns out that's all I need to jump on top of two boxes. If I just get on this one, boom. You can see if I'm on the one that's just slightly below, I can't do it. But right here, I can do it. Which, of course, allows me to wander the dusty desert. Or, well, it's not dust, is it? Sandy desert. But, uh, before doing that, let's just try to stick with my current thought, and that is, let's go get this box in there, which is actually pretty difficult. There's going to be a lot of mess-ups. Let me see if I can get it on my first attempt.
Okay, this is the hard part. I need to run. I don't... Hmm. See, I don't know if I can actually run and hit that part. I know I can run and hit that part, because I tested this once before, and I bounced off the top of that. The thing is, though, I bounced off the top of that and then just fell down. Can I run towards that? It looks too far away. Oh! Oh! There we go. Sweet. First attempt. Well, at least my first real attempt. The other time, I didn't even have the box in my hands. Okay, what's around here? Nothing. Okay, let's see how far this thing's gonna go into the air. Not that much. But hopefully, enough. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it's not enough. Because if I could shove another box in there, I think I could make it go even higher. But how would I even go about doing that? I have no idea. Let's just see if it's enough. So the puzzle room with the star is right next door. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. It's not enough, is it? Oh, wait, maybe if I put on top of the box. Let's see. Give me that, thank you. Oh yeah, it is enough. Yeah, it's uh, it's gray if I put it on the ground. It doesn't quite connect. But if I put it on the box, it hits. <laughs> that is so cool. Hello. I feel like I've earned you. Okay, well, I want to go outside of the puzzle world and go explore, but I think this episode will become even more hellaciously long if I do that right now. So I think I'm going to save that and the rest of the puzzles in this area for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.